Hi guys, this is Kevin Budashevsky, and this video is Chronic Inflammation. Let's begin. So what are the stimuli for chronic inflammation? Well, like in acute inflammation, there's a myriad of different stimuli that can cause it, but the most common are persistent infection, autoimmune diseases, and foreign material. So the key cells are which cells? Macrophages, lymphocytes, and plasma cells. Chronic inflammation is a result of the interaction between macrophages as well as lymphocytes. Do you recall from immunology what's released from Th1 cells that results in macrophage activation via the classical pathway? That would be interferon gamma. What cytokines are released from Th2 cells that activate macrophages via the alternative pathway? That would be IL-4 and IL-13. So we'll cover the potential outcomes of chronic inflammation via flash quiz. Ready? All right, so what is this? Well, sometimes bacteria, fungi, or certain other antigens can trigger certain responses, such as in this image. This is a granuloma. Do you know what the characteristic cell of a granuloma is? Well, that would be all of these pink cells in here, which are the epithelioid macrophages. They're essentially just the cells with the abundant pink cytoplasm, shown here. For more detail regarding how these form, be sure to check out the granulomatous inflammation video. So an excess of inflammatory acute phase reactant proteins, such as antibodies, fibrinogen, etc., can accumulate over time under chronic inflammatory conditions and lead to this disease. Do you know what's shown here? Well, this is a Congo red stain showing apple green birefringence. So what is the disease? That's right, this is amyloidosis. We'll discuss this more in the amyloidosis video by yours truly.